Hi, my name is Pete Gerlach. Um, I've been an observer of human behavior for well over 50 years, and part of that time I've been a therapist with hundreds and hundreds of men, women, kids, couples, families. One of the things I noticed uh, across the, the way and in my own life is how hard it is for many of us to praise each other. I wonder if you'd agree that, I don't know who uh, gave me this some time ago, but let me pass on this idea, see what you think. Uh, this anonymous person said, each of us is the only person who can give to another what each of us wants to get. Think about that. Then, let me ask you, do you like praise? Do you like being acknowledged and appreciated genuinely, especially from the people who mean a lot to you? Feels pretty good, doesn't it? Um, I propose that every child and every adult needs occasional appreciation, and recognition, praise, thanks, gratitude. Um, if that's true of you, let me ask you, do a little introspection here. In the last recent time, weeks, months, <clears throat> are you getting enough of these precious things often enough from the people who mean the most to you? Are you getting enough genuine praise, thanks, recognition? Perhaps an equally important question, or more important, is are they getting enough praise and recognition from you? Huh? What would they say? Imagine for a moment in your mind the people who are most important to you. Imagine them standing in a semicircle, gazing at you. Imagine asking them, Hey, have you felt appreciated by me often enough recently? One by one, in your mind, imagine what each person would say. How they would look, what their voice would sound like, what would happen to their eye contact. Imagine asking a question. You can ask it in real life. What a thought. Are you getting enough recognition, praise for me? Do I tell you how much I really appreciate you and why? In today's warp speed world, we're bombarded by stimulation, by tasks, we get all kinds of things we have to do, must do, want to do. It's awfully easy to forget, um, to simply say thank you, I'm really grateful for, for your whatever. Let me tell you a true story that stayed with me and is really the foundation for this brief video. I was attending a seminar, a weekend seminar in a suburb of Chicago. It was being held at a major hotel chain. Um, during the two days that our seminar met, we had a number of problems with the sound system, with the temperature. We ate meals there. We re relied on the employees of this hotel, and a number of them, men and women, um, helped us have an enjoyable and productive time. At the end of the seminar, I was really struck by how steadfastly courteous and efficient and pleasant each of these employees was, and probably five or six of them. <clears throat> and it occurred to me as I was walking out of the hotel that um, it might be fun, in a way, satisfying, to tell somebody. So I went to the front desk as I was leaving, and I asked the person there, young man, um, if I could see the manager. I didn't explain why, and I could see in his face immediately, he went, uh-oh, here comes some kind of a complaint. He expected something negative from me. He said, certainly, sir, um, and went and came back with a, a, another young man who was courteous, looked at me and with curiosity and said, how can I help you? And I said, I just want to tell you what an absolutely enjoyable time I have had in your hotel. I just came from a two-day seminar. We had a number of problems, and your staff was consistently courteous, cheerful, effective, efficient, 
They asked voluntarily if there was anything else they could do for us. They really cared about how, what kind of an experience we had. I'm going to recommend anybody I know who wants to stay in a hotel in this area or have a conference, I'm going to intentionally mention um, your hotel by name and I'm going to say why. I think you've done a bang up job. I'm very, very grateful. Thank you on, on behalf of all the people that supported us. Thanks so much. The man's face just lit up and he thanked me. And we smiled at each other. I turned and walked away. The whole thing took 30 seconds. I'm really glad I chose to do that. I suspect he was too. I don't know who may, he may have told about that. And I suspect in part it may have helped make his day. The point of the story is you can do exactly the same thing in all kinds of circumstances and the relationships minor to major that you encounter day and night, day and week and month after month. Do you have the mindset to do that? Or do you just shrug it off and take life as it unfolds? Um, I invite you to think again about the people in your semicircle. When's the last time you told them specifically what you appreciate about them? Can you recall? Do you remember, if you did, do you remember how they reacted? One thing I notice as a people watcher is that frequently um, people, especially those of us who are shame-based, who were injured in our childhoods and grew up thinking we're not worthy of praise or we're, we focus mainly on our shortcomings. If you try and praise somebody like that, frequently, have you noticed that they'll sort of turn their eyes away, that was nothing, you know, anybody would have done that, you know, no big deal. Uh, I don't know about you, but when, when I offer a compliment to somebody and they give me that kind of a response, it frustrates me because I feel like they discounted it. They just blew it off and they didn't really take it in and receive the feeling I wanted to convey to them. Has that ever happened to you? Do you know how to avoid it? Let me offer you a way. This works. It really works. Uh, it takes a little forethought and it takes the right attitude. Think of um, one or more people right now that you really appreciate. Could be a child, could be a teen, could be an adult, male, female, someone in your family, co-worker, neighbor, church mate, anybody. Somebody who has done something that you're really grateful for or who has a trait that you really enjoy and appreciate. Picture this person, okay? Identify in your mind specifically what do you appreciate about this person? I really like George's sense of humor. He always helps me feel good. I like Melinda's timeliness. She's always on time. I can really, if she says 3 o'clock, she's going to be there at 3 o'clock. It helps me plan my day. I'm very grateful that she's that prompt. Small things like that. It doesn't have to be World War III um, or inventing anti-gravity. Um, all it takes is recognizing a trait or an event. Okay, here's the trick. Once you identify specifically what it is you want to appreciate, how long does that take? Five seconds. The next time you see the person, vow to yourself, I'm going to pass this on. Um, we're both going to enjoy it. Um, look the other person in the eye when they're not distracted and an option is to say, by the way, uh, Amy, can I give you some feedback? Or whoever. Yeah, I'll give you some feedback. Usually people will be curious and they'll say, well, sure, what? Uh, uh, occasionally they might say, no, no, I'm really too busy. Uh, i got to get to the dentist. I'm late, so maybe later. Okay, fine. Praise them later. But if they say, yeah, sure, what? Look them in the eye calmly and do two things. Name the thing specifically that you are appreciative of and tell them how it affects your life specifically. Example. Uh, Louisa, I noticed that you put gas in our car um, without my asking or nagging like I usually do. I'm not fond of that. 
but I noticed you did that on your own, and I want you to know how much I appreciated that because what it did, it let me get to the dentist on time. I was running late, and I thought, uh oh, I'm low on gas. I looked at the gauge, and I thought, oh, uh, she filled it up. You, because you did that, I was able to make the dentist appointment on time, and I felt much better about it. Thanks so much for your thoughtfulness. If Tina says, or whoever it is, says, oh, well, that was nothing, no big deal. Um, here's the trick. Here's another trick. Say the compliment again. And we, when you were thoughtful enough to fill the gas tank without my reminding you or asking you, it helped me get to the dentist on time. Thank you. If you repeat the compliment a couple of times, often it's very difficult for the other person to blow it off and say, oh, well, it's no, it's no, no big deal. You, know. you would have done the same thing. Um, play around with that. Experiment with that. Identify specifically what you appreciate. I admire that you always answer the questions I ask you directly and clearly. I admire that you're on time. I admire that you cook marvelous meals for us. I really admire the way you laugh. It really makes me feel good. I just really appreciate that about you. I'm so glad that you're part of our family. Wow. So many things there are to appreciate about each other. How easy it is to forget. Have you ever had someone that paid you a compliment and you knew it was insincere? It was done to gain approval or smooth over some rough spot or something. Have you ever felt what it's like when somebody gives you insincere praise or strategic praise? It doesn't come from the heart, it comes from the head. You know how that feels? In my experience, when you receive something like that, and we're all experts generally at sensing, is this a real compliment or is this person complimenting me to get something? When you get insincere praise, notice how you feel. How I feel is distrustful and resentful. You may have your own reactions. Be careful. Don't praise for praise's sake. Praise because you mean it. That's the moral of the story here. It's worth thinking about, <clears throat> does each of our habits about praising, giving and receiving praise, comes from our childhood, usually, not always, but frequently. Stop and think, what was the rule in your house that you observed as a young person? What was the rule you uh, observed among your adults about giving praise? Did your mom praise but your dad didn't? Did your mom praise your dad but not you? Did your dad praise all the kids and everybody? Did your grandparents praise everybody including strangers? Did nobody praise anybody? Did people blow off praise? What was the rule in your house when you were young, growing up? What did you observe, not here, but what did you observe the adults who raised you doing about praising each other and acknowledging each other? What did you observe? Compare that to how you are now. By chance, if you have young people in your life, what are you teaching them about praising other people? how to do it, when to do it, how to handle discounts and shrugs. Are you helping your young people learn how to do that from the heart? I encourage you to think about it, because remember, each of us is the only person who can give to another what each of us wants to get. Imagine that. Pass it on, folks. Um, as always, I am glad to get any kind of comments from you, including praise, if you're so moved, or constructive criticism, or suggestions, or questions. If you have any of those with this video or any of my other videos, I'm delighted to receive them. I really appreciate that, and I truly appreciate your taking the few minutes it took to watch this video. I hope you found it thought-provoking and useful. Thanks for watching.